tax, Rusty. I thought I paid that last month. Now, the book says they should be a golden brown in five seconds more. One, two, three, four, five. It's an amazing thing to me, Danny, how four beautiful rainbow trout can turn out like that. What's lacking? Mom, and she'll be here any minute. They're all yours, Rusty. He wouldn't eat my cake, either. Uh, say, Dad, uh, have you any further ideas for Mother's homecoming? Well, I guess we better get at those dishes. She'll turn around and fly right back to Chicago. Uh-oh. Too late. Thanks, Danny. Up, Mom. Oh. Why is it one has to go away to really appreciate his own home? You wouldn't kid me, would you, lady? Definitely not. <laughs> home, there's nothing like it. My own couch, my own pillows, my own family. Did you really miss me? Oh. How'd you two bachelors get along? Wonderfully. Why does it smell like Conklin's fish market? Danny and I went fishing this morning. Four beautiful rainbow trout. Cooking? Mm-mm, cooked. Beautiful golden brown. Uh-uh, a black cinder. <laughs> I'm afraid to look at that kitchen. <laughs> I never should have left you two alone. Ah, thank you. I hope you understood that wire I sent you. I spent an extra day finding out more about it. This, you know. Mm -hmm. There's one thing that you can always depend upon Dad for, and that's good coffee. And how I have missed it. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> mm, presents oh. in that bag. Open it up. Oh, I was beginning to wonder. <laughs> the red box. Oh, boy. Uh, you want to give it to him yourself? Oh, not yet. I want to save it for his birthday. <laughs> But he needs it now. Oh, please, Dad. Not until you know what I just said. Oh, all right, maybe you can tie his license tag on with a pink ribbon. It's against the law for him to travel without that. First thing you know, you'll be bailing him out of the pound. Rusty? Oh, not a chance, Dad. He's an influential character. Nobody'd think of arresting him. Well, of course, I happen to disapprove of special privileges for influential characters, even when they're dogs. Don't talk back, Rusty. That's the city attorney telling us off. <laughs> That is for the papa bear. Thank you. Boy, you certainly splurged on that one. Rusty, don't be so nosy. And this uh -huh. is for the baby bear. My best thanks to the mama bear. Oh, boy. That's what the well-dressed high school junior will be wearing this next season. And um, mm. here's something I thought you might be interested in looking at. What is it? Dad, you know? Open it up and find out. <laughs> Rowan Lee Military Academy. A college preparatory school for young men. Dad. Well, you know that educational policy your grandfather gave you? It seems it's maturing. Your mother and I thought... Military Academy. <laughs> oh, for goodness sakes, I forgot he's at the present. <laughs> Here. Go on, take it. Go on out and play. Military Academy. Hello, me. Hello, me, Wembley. Come on, woman, come on. Heaven, say, David, Wembley, does the whole town have to hear you? It makes no difference to me who hears. I'm not going to spend hours at every station waiting for you while you put on fresh war paint.
inside the trailer. I know I didn't. I had my purse with me all the time. I see an animal like this, I know that the only thing wrong with the world is people. Him is wonderful. Him is mommy's great, big, beautiful hero. Stop slobbering over him and give him a drink of water. Mommy will give him a great big dish of ice cream as reward. That's what mommy will give him. Hey! Hey! Why are you taking my dog? Why, no place, mister. We're just thanking him. We're very grateful. Oh, okay. I've been trying to catch up with you. Is this wonderful dog yours? He's all I got in the world, ma'am. Please take this and buy him something. A nice sweater or a collar. That's it. A collar with his name and address on it. <laughs> I'll do it, ma'am. Uh, I can't very well put his address on it. You see, him and me, we're just wanderers. I really got no right to have him, I guess. He ought to have a real home. I could give him such a home. We're going to settle down in California. Oh, I'd love to have him. Poor feller. I wish he could have a better life than I can give him. I'll give you $25 for him. All right, lady. But I'll, I'll have to give him up quick before my feelings get the best of me. Hey, I don't want to say goodbye to him. Please, just be good to him. Oh, what's my doggy's name? Uh, Jackpot. Keep printing the ad until we find the dog. Run it in blackface type. Yes, yes, just keep printing it. Thank you. Hello, boys. Oh, hi, Dan. Nice to meet you. Any luck? Oh, Jack Wiggins says that he couldn't be mistaken. It was rusty, all right. But I don't think he'd run away with any strange man. Oh, Danny, I called up the Hannaford and Kentville papers, ordered ads, and they're lost and found. Oh, thanks, Dad. I bet he was stolen. Then he'll escape. No one could hold Rusty against his will. Oh, a dog catcher could. He wasn't wearing his license. Maybe you'll listen to me the next time, huh? I got a book on hypnotism. It says there even a dog can be hypnotized. Here you are, boys. Help yourselves. close to Garden City, and I'm going to drive into the first trailer camp I see and get some sleep. They put us out of three last night, but they won't put us out of another one, even if I have to muzzle both you and the dog. You harm one hair of Jackpot's head, Amos Wembley. Jackpot! Jackpot! Come back here! Jackpot! 